Waves with nowhere to go. Content warning. Internalized ableism, familial ableism, medicalization. Scene description. A white woman in a sleek black manual wheelchair has her back to the camera as she swims actively with her arms moving in large scoops that build in size and speed. She has dark hair pulled into a ponytail and wears an abstract blue bra top that exposes a muscular back and shoulders, as well as black fingerless gloves. A semi-transparent projection of soft white waves moving in and out drapes her body and the white-walled studio she dances in. When she turns, wide-legged blue ombre pants are visible on her legs. The idea of showering used to terrify me. Standing on linoleum as the floor became increasingly slippery, water coming down too hard and too fast. Water in my eyes, water in my ears. Unable to hear over a self-created roar. Putting slippery goo all over, aim skewed by minimized balance, maximized uncertainty. It took me a long time to call myself a dancer, to see myself a dancer, to see myself at all. A dancer was someone who had a class to go to, who stood at a bar, who stood. Someone who could put their hair in a bun. A dancer's fingers were poised just so they did not curl. Dancers' spines did not curl at the bottom, waves with nowhere to go as they reached the horizon line. Dancers pointed their feet. I became a dancer when I forgot these things. I became a dancer when I stopped fighting gravity. I became a dancer when I saw an x-ray of my spine, when I saw the vertebra crushing my facets. When I began to understand my body was not my doing or my undoing. I became a dancer when I let myself sit down. When my mother looked me in the eye from across the dinner table and asked me what she should say when her family asks what's wrong with me. Last week, when stretching, I accidentally pointed my right foot. I did it again and took a video. I sat on my yoga mat and cried, big heaving yelps. A gray bubble appeared on my phone. How do you feel? asked my partner like nothing is real. I have had cerebral palsy for 24 years. Having a partner is strange. When people ask her about me, she tells them I am a dancer. This feels ironic, but it is not. Having a partner is strange because I got used to a certain level of alone, a neutral alone used to climbing steps alone, to walking alone, to fielding strangers' questions alone. Now she is there, even when she is not. She says she loves the curve of my spine, that the ways my fingers curl are beautiful. I became a dancer far before her when I knew this myself, but watching her see it and hearing her say it is strange. I've had cerebral palsy for 24 years. At some point, I came to enjoy showers, found a smaller one with less room to fall, came to enjoy turning on the water as I undressed, intrigued by how it needs time to warm up even after we know each other well. At some point, I learned to keep my eyes open, learned touch, learned to focus on music over the rush. I came to love the water drying up, stepping out. The choice to sit is made richer by the occasional standing moment. I love looking at myself in the half mirror, skin red like heat, evidence my blood rises to meet the water's touch time and time again. I love lathering myself with sweet smelling lotion as redness recedes, goo abounds, and so do I. I would like to disinvite ableism to my storytelling. This has not happened yet, I think, as my mother's question makes an appearance, 
as words like crushing and alone and wrong make an appearance. I would like to dream unabashedly. I know myself a dancer after only having had cerebral palsy for 24 years, so I must be more than halfway there. Waves with nowhere to go. Written, conceptualized, choreographed, costumed, and performed by Sonia Rio Glick. Videography, Klein Rolader. Second videographer, Julio Vieira. Sound design and captioning, A.J. Hellman. Spanish translation and voiceover, Chantal and Calada. Consulting, Vanessa Cruz. Administrative support, Julie Stoverink. Mentor, Petra Cuppers. Waves with Nowhere to Go is supported by Dance NYC's Disability Dance Artistry Residency Program, made possible by the Craig H. Nielsen Foundation, the Ford Foundation, the New York City Department of Cultural Affairs Create NYC Disability Forward Fund, and the Shelley and Donald Rubin Foundation, and hosted by Gibney. Special thanks to the 2021-2022 DDA Residency Cohort and Full Radius Dance.